Welcome back to Prime Martial Arts. We're going to be going over a real important thing that a lot of people leave out when they're using the speed bag, and that's including the body. So we're just going to keep it real simple. We're just going to go two strikes, two strikes, okay? But if you look at my upper body, I want you to focus on my upper body, and then I'm going to give you a shot of my feet as well, so you can see what your body should be doing and what your feet should be doing when hitting the speed bag. So we'll keep it real simple. We'll just go two strikes, two strikes, and you want to turn the body, okay? Just gonna stand squared, facing the speed bag, and I want you to listen to the beat of the speed bag and try to get on rhythm. So your feet are gonna move while striking the speed bag. So now we have a full view of the full body this way you can really see the feet and the hands moving together focus on the beat focus on the hands focus on the feet okay and in MMA you can never keep your feet planted you never want to be stuck in one spot you always got to keep the feet loose ready to move so whenever you're training especially on the speed bag you don't want to keep your feet planted you don't want to be stuck to the ground so any training you're doing make sure you're being aware that you're moving your feet keeping your feet loose and never staying planted the speed bag is one tool that we use that in the beginning we don't involve a lot of body because we're just working on that hand-eye coordination trying to be able to get that rhythm down of hitting the speed bag. But once you get that rhythm down and you can, you can get that timing of the speed bag, then you really want to add in that body movement, okay? Keep the body real loose. Let the feet follow. It's going to help you a lot with your training. Thank you for watching Pride Martial Arts. Be sure to subscribe.